The heart has its own circulatory system, and that circulatory system is called the coronary arteries. When people develop atherosclerosis or high cholesterol levels, this can result in plaque deposition, plaque formation in the arteries. And as those plaques grow and grow, they can obstruct the flow of blood. This can lead to a decrease in the flow of blood and therefore the flow of nutrients and oxygen to the heart to the point where when you need your heart during exercise or walking up the stairs or changing a flat tire or almost anything else if the heart does not get enough blood or oxygen it's going to feel pain due to ischemic damage that is essentially a heart attack. Nitric oxide is a uh, a chemical or a molecule or you can even call it a hormone uh, that is present in the body uh, which functions in certain specific ways within the cardiovascular system. It's our way of protecting ourselves literally against cardiovascular disease. It's a molecule for example that lowers the blood pressure. It's our way of preventing strokes and heart attacks. The arteries make nitric oxide for the purpose of lowering the blood pressure, improving blood flow to organs, because nitric oxide is a vasodilator, it widens or relaxes the arteries so that more blood can flow through. That's going to lower the pressure within the plumbing, within the arterial system. And again, it protects against the coronary artery disease because it can lower the bad cholesterol levels uh, and so on. So it's the body's natural way to protect against heart disease provided we make enough of it. Nitric oxide is considered to be a lifesaver because it's the body's natural way of protecting against cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer, not only in the U.S., but throughout the world. And so the body can protect against all of this heart disease by generating more and more nitric oxide. When nitric oxide becomes deficient, this is when the barriers break down, this is when the protection is lost, and the individual is very sensitive and very susceptible um, to heart disease. And again, nitric oxide is protective because it can keep your blood pressure down in the normal range. High blood pressure causes heart attacks, causes strokes, and can lead to atherosclerosis or coronary artery disease. Uh, nitric oxide can prevent all of these things. Arginine is an amino acid. There are uh, about 20 or so amino acids that are the building blocks of all proteins. Proteins that you eat, and proteins that are in your body, like your muscle and, and skin and so on. And, but arginine plays a unique role in that arginine uh, is the one amino acid that the body uses to produce nitric oxide. Okay? There are two amino acids that the body actually can use. One is arginine, the other is citrulline. But the primary amino acid, which is converted to nitric oxide in the body, is arginine. And it's very important, therefore, to maintain a, a normal, healthy levels of arginine at all times. Because when we develop certain cardiovascular and related diseases uh, that are characterized by a deficiency in nitric oxide, the main reason for the deficiency in nitric oxide is a deficiency in this amino acid arginine. So if you have too low a level of arginine, you're not going to make sufficient amounts of nitric oxide to protect your cardiovascular system against disease. And so arginine is one of those amino acids that you actually have to take in from the outside. That is, you have to include it in your diet. And we're lucky that so many different proteins contain arginine. But sometimes, even though we may eat healthy and eat normal amounts of protein, if you have a deficiency in arginine, you're not going to get sufficient amounts from the diet. So you may want to consider supplementing uh, your diet with extra arginine. Welcome back to your health in your hands. Again, we're talking about cardiovascular health. Um, after this video that you've just seen, in which you see the Nobel Prize winner talking about uh, the how to produce nitric oxide in your body. I wanted to kind of like go into it a, a little bit more. And quite frankly, I don't think you can argue very, very aggressively with a Nobel Prize winner. Uh, these are people who, are, who have reached the top of their field and they've been recognized all, all over the world as uh, authorities in what they're talking about. So nitric oxide is the miracle molecule and that is produced in several different ways. Again, remember, nitric oxide is what helps 
the, the blood is, the, the blood vessels dilates and it allows blood to flow through it. I know we've mentioned magnesium before, but nitric oxide is actually probably m the most important thing for if, the, if I were to mention one molecule, one molecule that helps the cardiovascular system the most, it's nitric oxide. Now you can't just give nitric oxide directly. It has to be produced by the body from food. But here's the problem, here's the problem. Most of those foods, <laughs> how, how available are they in our environment? How available are they in Nigeria? So, and again, you have to take large amounts of those foods. So what I've seen is that it's basically impracticable to uh, ask people to be taking uh, um, all these different fruits and vegetables on a regular basis in the amounts that are, that are needed. So that's why Dr. Ignaro, the Nobel Prize winner in that video, that, in the video that you just saw, has tried to simplify it. And basically he says you need at least five grams of um, L-arginine, amino acid, and amino acid a day to uh, produce the amount of nitric oxides that your body needs. Now, if you are dealing with hypertension or any other kind of cardiovascular disease, you need at least 10 grams of that a day. That's, that, that is a recommendation, along with things like vitamin D3, things like uh, magnesium, and of course, L-citrulline. Let me just quickly back up now. L-citrulline is another amino acid that your body needs, but it basically works with L-arginine to uh, produce nitric oxide in your body. And here's the thing. Nitri uh, arginine, the nitric oxide produced from L arginine stays for a little short time. So what L-citrulline does is that it extends extends the amount of time that the nitric oxide is produced from L arginine. So um, you can't just go to the health food store and buy L arginine and say that and think you've taken care of it because it just appears for a short time in the blood. It uh, produces nitric oxide for a short time in the blood and then it disappears. But if you take it along with things like L citrulline and vitamin D3, you have a more sustained effect of nitric oxide in the system. So those are things that we really need, need you to understand and, and to apply. And again, uh, you check with your doctor, check online and see how you can apply these different things. Uh, remember, your health is in your hands and you must be able to do whatever it takes to ensure that your, your family, yourself and the people that you care about have the tools that they need to maintain health, especially cardiovascular health, because this is a problem that is affecting us all over this country. Thank you very much.